Hey guys, welcome to episode number 291. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday, and I have a lot of updates down here in the fish room. A lot of fun and exciting stuff has happened. The first thing, as you can see here, is my photo bioreactor is built. I'm going to do a DIY Wednesday outlining uh, how this build went, but for right now I'll give you a quick overview of what we've got going here. Uh, we've got a wooden shelf that I built against the concrete wall. We've got the light up above it, and we have the, uh, the air lines uh, going into the bottles of fresh water. They're half full, so uh, it doesn't spill out the top. Uh, you can see some, some condensation building up on the sides. But uh, I like to just give these a swirl every day or two, uh, stir it up a little bit to make sure everything's in suspension. And then you see my bubbles are about pea sized bubbles and uh, that keeps everything going pretty well. So as I said, I'll go into more detail uh, in my DIY Wednesday video, so stay tuned for that on the building of this photo bioreactor. But here are the species of phytoplankton that I have growing within each one of those bottles. I am going to transfer those cultures into larger bottles soon, uh, but I wanted them to get up to capacity a nice dark green color like this before I went ahead and uh, split, split them up and uh, increase the water volume. Um, I got those from Carolina Biologic and uh, they gave a nice booklet on uh, how to grow uh, freshwater algae. It came in a nice styrofoam box here. Very well insulated for the uh, cold weather travels. And then the coolest thing of all was these are usually meant for uh, classrooms but uh, you know I picked them up for for my Daphnia and uh, they came in glass vials so that's kinda cool got the names printed on those so I'll probably keep those glass vials uh, in case I need to transfer cultures uh, to other people as well and I might just keep the box as well so pretty excited about that pretty happy about that it was definitely worth the money. It was a little expensive to get going, but now I can just continue to propagate that algae and uh, continue to feed it to my Daphnia, who are located down here. Um, I went ahead and picked up three buckets, three white uh, five-gallon buckets, and uh, that way I can really tell you know how healthy my culture is and uh, exactly you know how many Daphne I have swimming around in them uh, in the orange buckets or the blue buckets uh, it's harder to see the, uh, the uh, Daphne swimming around so I figured this would be best and uh, I've conveniently placed them next to my photo bioreactor so once this thing gets up to speed I'll be feeding some of that algae down here into these buckets and uh, then I'll be feeding those Daphnia to my fish. So that's the first thing we've got to talk about. Uh, we can zip around here and uh, we've got one other big thing going on and uh, that is uh, potting season, planting season. Uh, we've got our potting mix down here and we've got some of the, uh, the biodegradable pots here. I figured since I have the grow lights installed up here above the, uh, the turtle tank, I might as well make use of the, the nutrient rich water uh, right here and the fact that I have plenty of light um, to use this as a space to start my uh, seedlings. So uh, as you guys might know, we've been in this house for uh, a little bit more than a year and uh, last year I didn't really get around to doing any gardening but now that I have a bunch of placos going uh, in these tanks I think it's probably about time to get some vegetables growing uh, because I have been feeding either uh, fresh veggies or frozen veggies and I want to get away from that I want to get away from buying these and uh, I want to try to grow them uh, as much as possible so I went ahead and bought three different varieties um, of plants that I thought would be pretty easy to uh, to grow and uh, I'm gonna make some uh, raised beds uh, for these so I just got some cucumbers looks like they'd be pretty good for uh, 
for our own consumption but also for the the fish and uh, then we've got some zucchini the green squash and then we've got the summer squash the yellow squash and all three of those plants are fairly similar uh, in terms of their growing requirements and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I've got three sets of these I'm just gonna set them all up here and I'm gonna start some uh, some seedlings uh, I'll probably put an oscillating fan down on that end to kind of blow across the seedlings as they grow to make sure they're uh, nice and strong and then uh, when it gets warm enough outside I'll transplant them uh, outside into a raised bed so I'm sure I'll do a video at some point on uh, a raised bed but for right now I mean we've got a lot of different projects going on uh, not directly related to uh, fish or turtles but uh, the feeding of those fish and turtles which I think is going to be fairly important to uh, the you know long long-term uh, breeding and sustainability uh, of the fish room is to uh, to try to buy or you know try to buy the stuff and invest in the stuff that's going to uh, continue to propagate and uh, feed the rest of the critters that we have going on down here so anyways guys those are the two biggest announcements I am still working on getting four more aquariums uh, installed for for up here um, but I am looking for Aquion 40 gallon breeder tanks and uh, I'm a little disappointed that no one really sells them and uh, if they do they're at full price which is kind of expensive so I've been putting that off uh, I do want to uh, talk more about this but as I said I have another video coming out about it so for right now I'll just kinda leave you in suspense and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.